In this video, I'll be going over Vidu, a free AI video generator. I'll show you some tips and tricks for how to get the most out of it. Plus, I'll show you a short animated film I created using Vidu. So let's see how good Vidu is. Okay, so we're on the Vidu website. I'll leave a link to it down below. You can scroll through their homepage to get a quick look at the kind of videos that you can create. As you can see, it says here you can get a four second video in less than 30 seconds. And they're not lying. I've tested it out and they're very, very fast. And they're really good at realistic and animation styles. So I'll quickly create a video to show you how it all works. On the left hand side here, you can drag an image in to create a video from an image. But if you're generating just from a prompt, you can choose the style you want, either general or animation. And you can choose either four or eight second generations. With Vidu, you get 80 free credits a month and a four second video uses up four credits and an eight second video uses up eight credits. So you get a handful of generations to create for free each month. Now, if you wanted to, you could create a few different emails and have a free account for each one. I find a good way to do it is use one email account to test the software with and then the other account to do your final videos. So let's create a video. They have this inspire me button here. So if you click it, it will add a random prompt that they've generated. And as you can see, they add quite a lot of detail into the prompt. So I'm going to try this one. And they also have the enhance prompt here as well. So I'll click create. I'll try the same prompt with enhance off and I'll try the same prompt, but with the animation style on. To redo the prompt, all you have to click is re-edit here. We also have an upscale feature, which I'll show you shortly. All right, so let's check out the results. So this is the general style prompt with enhanced prompt on. And it's a pretty good looking video. It looks very realistic. It's got a nice realistic style to it. And here's the same prompt in the general style, but with enhanced prompt off. And again, it looks pretty good. She's got a funky finger there on the cup, but otherwise it looks really good. And here's the same prompt, but with the animation style and enhanced prompt on. And it looks really good. It's got that really nice anime style to it. And the movement and animation looks really nice. And here's the same one, but with enhanced prompt off. Again, it looks good. I think I prefer the enhanced prompt version. Now, if you come down to enhanced prompt, they say it automatically expands short prompts into detailed descriptions to enhance generation. It also says it increases richness, but may lead to over embellishment. From my experience, it is best to leave this on, I find. So now I'll pick a clip and use the upscale feature. Using the upscale feature will cost another four credits. So it's up to you if you want to do it that way, or you can use an alternative video upscaler for free, which I'll show you later. So as you can see, once you click upscale, you'll get this option here. Now, at the time of recording, we only have the stable version and not the creative version. So that may be available when you're watching this, but it's not available for me right now. And I'll click upscale. So let's see the difference. And immediately you can tell it's much sharper and overall the motion just looks better. It's a lot smoother and yeah, it just looks a lot more refined. And the interesting thing is in the upscaled version, it actually jumps from 16 to 24 frames and the resolution goes up to 1080p. So you're getting a huge bump in quality with the upscale feature. If you're enjoying this video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. It would mean the world to us. And if you could like this video and hit that notification bell, that would be awesome. Okay, back to the video. Now let's have a look at using an image with a prompt. I've got a few different characters that I want to test out. To start off with, I'll use this image of this boy character I've made. I've created everything in this video using free tools. I created this character using Leonardo AI's free version. It gives you two options when you upload an image. You can either use the image to be the first frame of the video and then it will generate the video from there. So this is good if you want to keep a similar look to the image that you've got. And interestingly, they've got an option to use the image as character reference. So this will look at your character and create a video using those character similarities with the prompts that you give it. So I'll show you both ways. So I've got a prompt here which says, create the video based on the character in the image and maintain high consistency. 
have the character walk through a forest. Anime images are preferred. Now I found this prompt on a website and I found it works quite well. All right, so let's check them out. The one with the image option as user's first frame came out a little funky as the problem is the character is surrounded by a white box. So it doesn't really work. As you can see, it kind of tries to put a forest into that white area and it just doesn't look that great. I'll show you soon how to fix this with using the first frame to create a video. But if we have a look at the videos created with the use for character reference option selected, they're pretty interesting. So this one, he's not quite walking through a forest, but he's in a forest and he's talking to someone. And overall, it has a really clean look to it and looks like it's part of an actual animation. I tried it again with these settings and it had this weird intro, but from here, it looks really good. I don't know why he's kind of rising up at the start, but once he starts walking, the animation looks pretty solid. And here's another video of that character, but he is on a mountain waving his arms. And I could easily see this being part of a kind of children's animated show. Now I'll try a different character that I created of this lady standing in a forest. Now this is where the use as first frame can work really well as I've already got the background in there. So it doesn't have to guess what to put in the background. And I got a really good result when using this image as the first frame to create the video. It's got her walking through the forest, which seamlessly looks like the background in the image. And in this prompt, I actually put she is smiling and it did a pretty good job at conveying that in the video. And here's a video of the same image and prompt, but with the character reference option. And I actually chose to do an eight second video here to see how it turned out. It looks great. Apart from the hair color looking a bit different, it looks pretty professional. And you can always change the color in a video editing app anyway. And here's another image I used of that same character, but I wanted to create a different video. So in this video, I wanted her to be sitting in a cafe and lifting up a glass of water. And it looks really good. They've even put in a mouth animation. So let's check out another example. I've got this character that I created here and I wanted him to be sitting in a cafe eating a burger. So I used the character reference option along with this prompt and it looks awesome. So if you have a story to tell with your character, just make sure to include it in the prompts and then you can always export short videos to create a story. Videos also really good for creating emotions with your character. So I have this character here and I wanted him to be angry. So I made sure to put in the prompt that the character looks angry. And as you can see, the animation looks so good. And in this one, I wanted the character to look sad. It even adds a zoom out effect. I did say for the camera to be still in this prompt, but I actually really like the effect it had in the final video. And here's a few more examples of characters with different emotions. Now I've got a really cool tip here. If you want to create your character and background separately and then merge them together. Say I want to get this character and put him on a very specific background that I've got in mind. So I want to remove the background of this character. So to do this, I'm on a free photo editing website called photop.com and it's pretty much a free Photoshop alternative. So to get rid of the background, I'll go to this option here and click on object selection. Then I will select the area where the character is and you can see it's added a dotted line around him. So I'll go up to edit, copy, edit, paste, and I'll get rid of that background. Then behind him, I'll just add a new layer. I'll put a green background in. This will just help to key it out later on. I've also just changed the aspect ratio of this image as I want it to be a widescreen video that I create. And then just export this image and I'll take it into Vidu. I used that image along with a prompt for the character to be angry and it created this video, which I'm really happy with. So now I want to create a video for the background that I want. Now for this video, I want there to be a big explosion behind him. So I created this image and I'll turn it into a video with Vidu. Vidu made this video of the explosion, which looks pretty cool. So I'll download these two files and I'll take them into CapCut's free online video editor. So I'll drag in that background and the video of the character. Now, as you can see, there is a green background on this character. So what you have to do is go to Smart Tools, 
remove background, and you can either use the auto removal or the chroma key. I'll pick chroma key for this one. And as you can see, it's got rid of that green background. Now you might have to adjust the size of the videos as the background just needed to be a bit bigger. And then all you have to do is export the video. And if you want to, you can use CapCut's free video upscaler. And all you have to do is drag in the video and then click upscale. So let's check out the video. And it looks really good. It looks like our character just created this explosion and he's pretty angry. So this is just a really good method if you have a specific background in mind and you want to match it with your character animation. Now let's have a look at creating videos of text and titles in Vidu. So I'll start off with just doing a prompt for this one. So I've got a text title that says Viduvia. The text is glowing red, surrounded by smoke and anime style. I'll go on animation style for this one and I'll use enhanced prompt. Okay, so let's check it out. And that doesn't look too bad actually. It's got the glowing red text and some kind of smoke around it like I asked it to. Now I'm going to try it with this image I created in Leonardo AI, which says Tales of Viduvia. So I was thinking it could be used as the title intro for a cartoon. So I'm gonna place it in and I'm just gonna leave it without a prompt to see what it does with it. Only use it as first frame if you're doing this kind of video. And they did a pretty good job at animating the text. It gets a bit weird at the end, but you could always just cut that bit off. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how it's handled this. And here's another example. So I took this logo of Atomic that I created and I've put a green screen background on it so that you could put any background on it. And it created this video, which looks awesome. If you take this video, you can use that same effect I used before to then change the background. So make sure to play around with creating text in Vidu as well. Now using the different techniques in this video, I've created a short animation just to show you what you can do with Vidu. I've also paired it with some background music that I created in Udio and some voiceover work that I created in Eleven Labs, all using the free versions. Tales of Viduvia. Let's venture to the rainbow fields where the grass shimmered in every color of the rainbow. Children loved to chase the dandelions that floated like tiny stars. Now to the whispering woods, a forest where the trees were alive with stories. Each tree had a different tale to tell, and when the wind blew through the leaves, the stories would come alive. Some trees told of brave knights and dragons. The people of Viduvia often visited the Whispering Woods to listen to the trees' tales and find inspiration for their own adventures. I think that turned out really well. It really does show you what you can create in Vidu if you get creative. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video and I hope you can see how powerful Vidu is. It's great as there is a free option so you can play around with it and decide if you want to get the paid plan. I'm excited to see where Vidu goes from here. Please comment down below. Feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. If you want to check out our other videos, click the image on screen.